I'm Dr. Jamie Wells, and I'm the Director of Medicine for the American Council on Science and Health, and I am here in Philadelphia with three of the leading melanoma researchers at the Wistar Institute, which are our nation's first independent biomedical research facility. I'm Maynard Herlin. I'm a professor here at the Wistar Institute. Our laboratory is heavily invested in new drugs that will hopefully lead to a cure in melanoma. I'm Ashi Rarata and I work on how the microenvironment is affecting melanoma metastasis and therapy resistance. And much of what I've been doing lately is to see how as we get older, um, how the skin affects melanoma progression. I am Jessie Villanueva. I've been working in melanoma for the past 10 years. And we are interested in understanding the basic biology of melanoma with the goal of identifying new targets to develop therapies, particularly for patients who have very limited therapeutic options. Melanoma represents only 5% of all skin cancers. Over 70% of death from cancers of the skin are due to melanoma. It's predicted that um, by 2030, so in only 12, 14 years, we will have double the number of cases as we have today. The greatest reason is most likely that people go out in the sun and get a good burn and don't take care of it. What we call scientifically is the intermittent sun exposure. Meaning we sit in our offices all day, um, don't have a general tan, and then suddenly on the weekend we get a good hefty sunburn, particularly when we are kids or if we have a genetic susceptibility that we easily burn, that we have freckles, blue eyes, and all those things. And let's not forget also that um, the use of tanning beds has really increased among young women ages 15 to 30. And those, the rates of melanoma in those young women are rising um, very, very rapidly. The thing with tanning is that it's addictive. And those young people, as Ashi just says, that they are most at risk because they can't, they can't uh, control that they really want to get a suntan. Yeah, they get this rush of endorphins that's very similar to yes. the same types of endorphins you get from, you know, healthier activities such as a runner's high or from smoking, which of course is not a healthy activity. And, um, and I think that, you know, we refer to this as tanorexia because you really become addicted to tanning. So as a pediatrician, uh, it's my understanding that almost 80% of your lifetime sun exposure happens in the first 20 years of life. So I think what happens is that you get a lot of cells that become initiated, which means they become primed to become a melanoma, they acquire mutations. And what we are seeing is that as you get older and the changes that happen in your skin that are normal can now take those cells and tell them, you know, yeah, you've just been sitting here, but now you're going to grow and you're going to spread all over the body. So. When you get all of that sun exposure when you're young, when you burn, when you tan, um, those initiated cells don't just die and go away, they're still there. The most frequent risk factor for melanoma, as we've been discussing, is UV exposure. Right? And when our skin gets excessive UV exposure, we induce a lot of damage, a lot of changes, secretion of factors, and then we induce also the generation of mutations. And once we acquire those mutations, those cells can sit there, as Ashley was mentioning, for a long time and we develop moles, we get all these freckles and all these things, and those could be um, possibly later on with additional mutations turn on into a melanoma. Do only people with light skin and blue eyes get skin cancer? No. no. Does sunscreen cause skin cancer? No. 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 Does sunscreen expire? Is it true it expires? Yes. So what SPF and what sunscreen do you recommend for people to prevent? What type? Nothing of above 30 works, and you want something that blocks both UVA and UVB. So you want something that says broad spectrum. And you need to cover your skin too, so don't just count on the sunscreen, but yeah. also use uh, protective clothing and, and your hat, and don't forget your sunglasses. Mm -hmm.